Even though PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds is still in early access, it's already a groundbreaking online shooter. Each game starts the same way, but its remarkable ability to feel like a fresh new adventure every round has kept me coming back for hours on end. It manages to approach the Battle Royale-style deathmatch with relative simplicity without sacrificing the essence of the hardcore survival sim, creating a tight, focused, and no-frills experience that places it leagues above the competition. Battlegrounds wastes no time putting you right in the middle of the action, as up to 100 players pick their moment to jump out of a plane and parachute onto a large island. The tension mounts as everybody scrambles for weapons and gear and the killing begins right from the get-go. Those still standing are forced into ever closer proximity within the confines of a deadly shrinking force field until just one is left alive. Victory is an exhilarating reward, matched only by the suspense that emerges from the battle to achieve it. But even if you die early, jumping into a new game is always quick and easy. Being forced into a smaller and smaller arena adds a consistent sense of purpose, and with it, an exciting set of options. You might want to prioritize reaching the center, move slowly along the borders, or even hide in a building until you absolutely have to move. An aggressive approach is just as viable as a cautious defense, and the practicality of both playstyles is refreshingly liberating, bringing new sets of challenges that are just as fun to plan around and tackle as the next. The incentives to stay on the move no matter your chosen pace forces ever more dangerous encounters with skilled survivors, condensing the action and ending a match after around 20 minutes, before it can get bogged down by campers or other distractions. While the rules are always the same, factors like where you choose to land, which items spawn where, or how fast you can find a weapon or a backpack or a scope keep every match new and exciting. A large map and an abundance of loot means hunting for a weapon isn't a frustrating task, but instead an opportunity to weigh your options and pick your approach for the round. This not only keeps the playing field balanced and fun for everybody, but ripe for all sorts of thrilling confrontations. You can also change the dynamic by grouping up. Playing solo brings certain elements to the formula that going in with a partner doesn't, and the same goes for trios and four-player squads. There might be more freedom in going alone, but a well-coordinated team has more potential for pulling off exciting ambushes and vehicular assaults. The gunplay itself is also great. Firearms feel good to shoot and are impressively balanced, even in early access. And while Battlegrounds does retain that military sim clunkiness that's become synonymous with the genre, it's just smoothed out enough to keep combat satisfying and accessible to newcomers. A couple of handy hotkeys to cycle weapons, switch between third or first person mode, and toggle auto or burst fire for your gun are most of what you need to know. The simple and intuitive UI is also particularly refined, which makes looting bodies and swapping items with teammates as easy as a quick click and drag. Of course, Battlegrounds is still early access, so it does have problems you should be aware of. I've dealt with unobtainable loot, wonky collision, and bad latency, but game-breaking bugs are fortunately rare, with the exception of a small group of players who have reported frequent crashes. Overall, it's a relatively smooth experience. While the gameplay Battlegrounds offers now is strong enough to stand on its own, additional features I'd love to see in the final version include custom servers, new maps, and a separate practice range for getting a feel for individual guns. PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds has taken the genre popularized by games like DayZ and boiled it down to only its best parts, making for quick and accessible rounds of pure, hassle-free survival-based action. Even though it's still rough around the edges, it's absolutely worth playing right now. We'll continue to play as it gets closer to a full launch, and revisit this review with updated thoughts once it's out of early access. For more on Battlegrounds, check out two of our most epic victories.